It's the Lakers, Blazers, Dame, LeBron, Stephen A. Talk to me. Lakers sweep or Blazers win? What's the more likely outcome here? Well, I would pick the Blazers to win before I pick the Lakers to sweep them. Uh, I, pick, I think the Lakers are going to win this series. But if I have to answer the direct question between the two greatest possibilities, I would pick the Blazers to win before I see a Lakers sweep based on what I've seen from the Lakers since they have arrived in this bubble. They are having trouble scoring the basketball. They are having trouble hitting perimeter shots. And against this Blazers, with this offensive juggernaut that they are, led by Damian Lillard, the MVP of the bubble that was averaging about 37. Look at C.J. McCollum, how he's dropped about 29 over the last two games and the way that he's been balling. Carmelo Anthony hitting big shots. And I can't say enough about the marksman that Gary Trent has become. This brother can shoot the basketball. And so when I look at it from that perspective and I see the offensive gifts, gifts that Nurkic brings to the table as well. This team can score on anybody. You're going to have to outscore them to beat them. You're not going to contain them and prevent them from putting the ball in the hole. And because of that reality, combined with the way that the Lakers have been shooting the basketball and been struggling to shoot the basketball, I'm sorry, I'm not going to assume that this is a team, a Blazer squad, that's going to get swept, particularly since the last time we saw them in the playoffs, they had gotten swept by a Kevin Durant-less Golden State Warriors team led by Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I don't see that happening two years in a row or back-to-back -back series. You go from the Western Conference to getting swept again in the first round. I don't see that happening to Dame Dollar. I don't see that happening to CJ and certainly not even Melo as well who has uh, had a resurgence and has reminded us that he had no business being out of this league for as long as he was out of this league. You can't find a roster spot. He's not one of a, a top 15 player on a roster in the NBA. Just blasphemy, okay? So all of that has been thrown out to the wayside. Now it's about Portland. Again, I think they'll lose this series, but I could see it going seven games. May go six, but I'm predicting seven. But being swept? I think the Lakers would lose this series before the Blazers would be swept. Well, first of all, about Carmelo, it's not just that what he's shown what's, that's remarkable. It's not just that he's one of the 15. He's one of the five. He's a legit starting player on a very good team. But and, and as hard as it is for me to imagine Damian Lillard at this moment in time on any team to put him on, let alone a team with some talent like Portland, on any team, being swept right now, is he just not the getting swept type of dude right now it'd be even harder for me to imagine the Lakers losing this series because when you look at Portland they're giving up in the last four five six games you know 122 130 it's always 120 or 130 something points and they're winning some of those games they're also losing some of them and they're winning by a possession or two and and they're winning because the other team's best player has a good enough look and happens to miss the shot or else, and by the way, that was with everything on the line and nothing was on the line for the Nets. They are playing bad defense. And it's hard for, for me to imagine a team playing defense as bad as, as the Blazers are playing, beating a Lakers team led by LeBron James with another top half dozen player in the world on his team. When has ever a, a top seeded team in any conference with two legitimate MVP contenders on the same team lost in the first round? It, to, to a team with a bad defense. It ain't gonna happen. It just hasn't happened uh, yet. Now, then get a little deeper into it. McCollum is, talk about, you know, I'll break my back for this team. He's playing with a broken back, and he's at times playing well, but how long is that gonna last given his physical condition? On the flip side, look, the Lakers are a little bit three-point challenged, but Danny Green in a playoff series, he's had good series, he's had bad series, but if you're gonna tell me, okay, who you got, playing at least 25 minutes at the two. Who's your three and D guy? Danny Green, check. You don't have to worry about that. That's a check in the box. Uh, there's a reason that that guy, when he's in San Antonio, is part of that winning culture and always in the playoffs. And then he goes to Toronto and the same thing and they win a championship. He's kind of exactly what you're looking for as a three and D guy as part of your starting five on a championship cali caliber team. That's all he's been his entire career, even if he's a little bit in decline. That, I still like my chances with him. So you're right, Stephen A. Both outcomes are unlikely. I think the least likely is the Lakers losing the series. Wow.
that's a lot to digest because uh, I really just don't feel that either, like you said, either of these are, 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 are reality. I, I think everyone agrees. And that's why it's also a great question. But Stephen A., to your point, you said that it, it's hard for you to believe that a Blazers could get swept back-to-back -back years after what happened against uh, the Golden State Warriors. But don't forget, they were up 17, at least 17 in three of those games. In all three of those games, they lost. So for me, I understand that the Portland Trailblazers have all the talent. They got Dame. CJ's playing well. They got, they got Nurkic back. They, they got Zach Hans. Carmelo's playing at an all-time high. But ultimately, I feel like it is more likely that the Lakers will sweep them. And it's not because the Lakers are dominant. The Lakers are not playing great basketball either. But the Portland Trailblazers have been playing playoff basketball for the last two weeks, and they are eking through, barely winning. And again, when I say barely winning, I mean they are doing just enough to get this, get there against subpar teams, not teams to the same caliber as the Los Angeles Lakers. So in my opinion, I think it's more likely that the Lakers sweep than the Portland Trail Blazers win this series. And it's mainly because if you look at the path that they have gone, that is my opinion. And, and, and that's the reason why I believe that is because I just don't feel like the Portland Trail Blazers have been playing the type of basketball and we can go from the conference finals all season up until now. They have done just enough to get here, which is a compliment to them because they've been through a lot. But I think it is more likely that the Lakers would sweep than the Portland Trailblazers win this series. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.